Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful pattern using paint sticks and I have done a pillow that is made out of linen. I made it myself with an envelope back. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get some paint sticks and an iron and whatever it is you're going to dye. So I like to make sure whatever I'm going to fold is nice and ironed and flat. So I get out all the creases and wrinkles and I always start by folding it in half. So I have some paint sticks here that I just got at the hardware store and they are really great for doing all kinds of projects with shibori. As you can see I've used them um, before because <laughs> they're all blue. So I'm going to kind of measure based on the paint sticks. So I'm going to fold my pillow about the same width as the paint sticks going back and forth doing an accordion fold. I'm just going to make sure I iron in between each fold to make sure it's extra crisp. Uh, you will get better results if you use an iron and um, you are careful when you fold. This is a very geometric pattern so it pays to go slow and just be as precise as you can. Um, but it still will be cool if it's not lining up perfectly so don't worry too much about it. Uh, then turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm sorry that this is a vertical video. I actually originally filmed this for Instagram. Uh, my Instagram handle is at Onyx Matter and I have the link in the description down below. Um, I have a lot of little videos and photos that I post on there all about shibori and DIY stuff so you can go check it out and follow me if that's something you're into. So I'm just going to keep folding until it's completely folded on top of itself like a giant accordion. It should look like a fan when you take it apart. And I'm giving it lots of steam just to make it stay. So now I'm going to take the paint sticks and put one on the top and one on the bottom. I'm going to sandwich them together and I'm going to line them up and then I'm going to tie them with some string. I like to start in the middle because that way it kind of secures it and I just tie a tight double knot and I like to leave a little tail and then I just start wrapping and I wrap all the way up and all the way down making it as tight as possible. This pattern has a lot of white so the resist needs to be very tight like it needs to be wound very tight so you can just go a bunch of times that'll help it get tight and I'm just doing a portion of the paint sticks, not doing the whole paint stick because I want there to be those um, triangles that come in on the side there. Um, so I don't want it to be too tight all over. That will allow some of the indigo to come in. There it's all bound and I'm going to tie it up like this and it's ready to dip. So I'm going to, it's been drying overnight and I'm going to just carefully cut the strings. Let's see, I don't want to, I don't want to cut the fabric. So I'm going to just go on to the string. 
stir sticks and then carefully cut it. I feel like if a seam, if I had a seam ripper, that would be good too. If you have a seam ripper, you can use a seam ripper. All right. You can also just unwind it, but I think it's easier to cut a couple of strings at once. working my way up carefully. It's not good to rush the uh, cutting apart process because you really don't want to cut your fabric. I've done it before, trust me. It's a bummer. There we go, almost there. Okay. So, oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. That is so cool looking. All right, so now it's time to reveal inside and unfold it. Oh my gosh. That's, that's the back and this is the front. I am in love with this pattern. This is so amazing. That is gonna look so pretty on my couch. I love this pattern. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So I let it dry and then I washed it and dried it. I used Synthropol in the laundry and I wash on hot. This is linen, so that has a lot to do with how the fabric takes the dye. So thanks so much for watching and be sure to hit the subscribe button and share this video if you know anyone who's into Shibori.